Number 1 Vitamin to Eliminate Swelling in the Feet and Legs Feet, Ankles, and Legs Swollen It's a little annoyance for some people and a chronic illness for others. What is the source of this widespread ailment? In this video, we'll investigate the mystery underlying leg edema and provide some surprising natural remedies. First, what exactly causes the swelling? What causes swelling? Here, the reasons are clear. However, persistent swelling suggests a deeper problem. Disorders affecting the kidneys, liver, heart, and other organs can cause fluid to accumulate. Even vitamin deficits in some cases might exacerbate the issue. Swelling is often associated with an accumulation of extra fluid inside the tissues. This fluid excess causes the skin and muscles to swell up like a sponge soaking up water. Since the fluid is drawn downward by gravity, the legs and feet are most impacted. But what is the nature of these fluids? The primary offender is plasma, the transparent, yellowish liquid that comprises 55% of blood. Plasma removes trash from the veins and transports nutrients and blood cells. However, when issues arise with the liver and kidneys, two organs that filter plasma, it can't be sufficiently eliminated. The extra plasma leaks into the surrounding tissues from the blood vessels. Swelling was the outcome. It is also possible to link lymph, the fluid that flows through the lymphatic system. Although it functions independently, the lymphatic system is similar to the blood circulation system. White blood cells are transported by it, and it also catches viruses, bacteria, and other pathogens. Although lymph nodes filter the lymph, a backlog is brought on by obstructions in the nodes or veins. After that, the lymph starts to seep into the tissues, which causes swelling. Okay, so the swollen legs are caused by an overabundance of lymph and plasma. Causes of swelling in feet and legs. However, why do they start off that way? Swelling essentially results from an imbalance or malfunction inside the body. Take a closer look at a few of the important components. Heart disease. The circulatory system is supplied with blood by the heart. Blood can back up into the veins in the legs and force fluid into the tissues if the heart is weak or injured. Liver disease. Toxins and waste products are removed from the blood by the liver. These can build up in the blood and cause bleeding into the legs when they are injured. Kidney disease. The urine is produced by the healthy kidneys filtering extra fluid and waste from the blood. Fluid might remain in the circulation and eventually accumulate in the legs due to kidney failure. Blood clots. Blood clots in the legs' veins prevent the blood from flowing normally. The blood travels by many paths, frequently losing plasma along the way. Medications. Medications for high blood pressure, hormone replacement therapy, corticosteroids, and antidepressants can all lead to fluid and salt retention. Immobility. The circulation slows down when muscles remain still for extended periods of time. Fluids are not effectively pushed back up because they drift downward. Vitamin deficiencies. When some vitamins are deficient, inflammation and plasma can accumulate. This encourages fluid retention and puts stress on the organs. Obesity. Carrying too much body fat exerts strain on the abdomen and legs, making it more difficult to pump fluids back up. The legs' stressed circulation causes blood to pool and plasma to spill. During pregnancy, the uterus compresses veins, causing plasma to seep into the tissues of the legs. Fluid retention during pregnancy is also impacted by shifting hormone levels. Age. As we age, our circulation slows down and our organs stop functioning as well. In parts that are reliant, such as the legs and feet, fluids can build more easily. The list is endless. The causes range from lifestyle issues to chronic conditions. However, the basic principles remain the same in all situations. When organs and systems responsible for controlling fluid balance are damaged, plasma and lymph build up and eventually leak into the tissues. Further issues arise as a result of swelling. When stretched too far, the skin might get damaged. The heart works harder to pump more blood through the circulatory system when there is an accumulation of fluid. Framework. Blood clots result from immobility caused by swollen legs. In addition to cramps and heaviness, there is discomfort. Thus, reducing the edema is essential. Is it possible to naturally lessen edema, though? Vitamins to reduce swelling. Of course. Let's look at some beneficial vitamins. Thiamine, or vitamin B1, is a water-soluble vitamin that is essential for several processes. Lack of B1 causes fluid to accumulate around the heart impairing its ability to pump. 
This vitamin helps maintain healthy liver, nerve, and kidney function in addition to heart health. Whole grains, nuts, beans, seeds, and shellfish are the finest sources. In addition to being water-soluble, vitamin C has anti-inflammatory properties by nature. It protects organs, bones, and blood arteries. Vitamin C helps the kidneys and circulatory system, which decreases fluid accumulation and leakage. Leafy greens, tomatoes, peppers, berries, and citrus fruits are excellent suppliers. The sunlight vitamin, vitamin D, is essential for good general health. It also lessens inflammation and helps the body absorb calcium for stronger bones. Exposure to sunlight enables the body to generate its own vitamin D eggs, liver, fatty fish, and this important vitamin is also found in meals fortified. Besides vitamins, several herbs and spices have additional benefits. Herbs and spices to reduce swelling. Dandelion promotes appropriate fluid balance and renal function. It decreases edema by acting as a natural diuretic. Nettle leaf has anti-inflammatory and diuretic properties. It lessens fluid retention and improves circulation. Ginger contains anti-inflammatory qualities that help reduce swelling and enhance blood flow and circulation. Fennel seed has anti-inflammatory and diuretic properties. Garlic, pine bark, grapeseed extract, bromelain, and essential oils are just a few more natural therapies that help reduce swelling and enhance circulation. We've now discussed the possible natural remedies for swollen legs as well as their causes. Swelling treatments. But what else is there to be done to fight this illness? Here are some crucial methods of treatment. To help with the better drainage of extra fluid during the day, elevate your legs periodically. While lying down, even small leg lifts can assist in pumping fluids back up. Squeezing the legs with compression stockings helps to increase circulation and push fluid upwards. Blood flow and lymph drainage from the legs are enhanced by movement and mild exercise. Circulation and fluid outflow from the tissues are enhanced by massage. Diuretics, or water tablets, increase urination and decrease fluid accumulation. They don't treat the underlying issues, instead, they offer momentary alleviation. Surgery might be used to remove lymph nodes to minimize edema or to repair vein valves. Used as a final resort when all other measures have failed. But integrating natural solutions with other treatments can provide the best odds of reducing. Aggravating leg swelling. Swollen legs present an intricate web of possible causes, contributing factors and solutions. A mix of modern medicine and natural remedies works together to combat this frustrating phenomenon. A balanced diet, regular exercise, vitamins, herbs, and more can help restore proper fluid levels and equilibrium. When the legs are correctly treated, the fluids continue to circulate and the legs do not bubble up like water balloons. Inflammation and swelling will go with self care and consistency you'll feel more at ease and have more mobility again. Refuse to accept suffering as a given. You have the ability to improve your health. Your feet, ankles, and legs will appreciate it. Show this video to loved ones who are going through similar things. Click the like button if you found this information useful.